Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the Rhinestone World, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to program and get good cut settings for Shemika leather vinyl. Now, this is one of their vinyls that is textured. It's really cool. I have a piece right here, and it's awesome for football season, and there's a whole bunch of different textured vinyls that they sell. Now, I'm gonna go through, figure out a good cut setting program one and do some test cuts. So if you wanna learn how to program your own custom cut settings and to get the perfect test cut with your leather vinyl, then go ahead and keep on watching. Right, so I'm in Silhouette Studio. Now, Shemika Leather is a normal HTV that you reverse. So I have my design all set up. We're gonna go over to the send panel. And you can see I have some settings in here that I've custom programmed. Um, so I like doing that because I can get the best results. Every brand of vinyl is a little bit different. So when you do your own, you don't have to worry about all the fuss. So you can see I don't have leather in here. So I'm gonna add a new material type. And here's my new material down here. I'm going to right click, rename it. I'm going to name it Shemika Leather. And then if I click off and click back on, then it shows me that right there as the settings. Now I'm going to go to our website. So on our website, we have a documentation page that shows recommended cut settings for the different materials. Now, keep in mind, these are meant to be a guideline. Every machine is a little bit different. Your blade could be newer, could be duller. There's a bunch of different factors that go into play. So these settings were made with a brand new blade and a fairly new machine. So even now with my machine now, my machine I've been using every day for three years and then um, I cut every day with it. So it could be different for me now. So we're gonna use these as a guideline and then tweak it from there. So you can see we have Shemika leather. So we're gonna do our blade at four, our speed at 10, and our force at nine. So let's go back over here. Let's set my blade at four. My speed at 10. And then my force, let's go over and do nine. So I'm gonna hit enter. So we have it set here, let's hit save. And now we can close out of this edit panel by clicking this X. And now check it out. This still has the last setting that I actually cut with. So we're gonna click this drop down, grab Shemika leather. There are our settings. And so those are the settings we started with. So I'm gonna jump over to the machine. We're gonna load our material and we're gonna do our first test cut to see how this works. All right, so here I am with my Cameo. Here is my Shemika leather. So this is the normal, what they call leather. It's great for football season. And you can see here's my shiny side, my carrier, and my dull side. So we're gonna load this in, shiny side down, hold it against the roller, and then let's press load. Now let's jump over to the software. We have it set without a cutting mat, which is good. And here are settings here. So I'm not gonna cut the whole design. I'm gonna go right here and click test and do a test cut. Okay, so my cut is done. Let's go ahead and unload it and give it a quick look. So first thing I always do when I do test cuts is I feel the back carrier. I make sure that it's not cut through, it's not indented, you know, it's not giving me those sorts of issues there. So you can see right there, we're pretty good. Now if you look on this side, you can kind of see the lines from my cut, but to be honest, they look kind of faint. So I don't feel pretty good about this. So you can see I'm kind of like digging at it to get this to come out and check it out. My triangle came right out. So there's a couple different ways we can take this. We can increase our thickness, but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my blade out and hold it next to my vinyl and see if my blade depth is good. So right here we have my blade and you can see it comes out of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it up next to my vinyl. Let me bring this down so you can see it. And basically, and you might have to do this yourself to kind of compare, uh, you want your blade to get towards the edge of it, but not past your vinyl. So let me see if I can get this to focus for you. Sorry. But it looks like it's not going past and it's getting close to, uh, my carrier, which is a good sign. So that means that we need to adjust our thickness. Let's go over here. Let's load this back in. And then I'm gonna load my vinyl back in again. And I'm gonna use this arrow to bring this over 
and set a new origin point. Now let's jump back to this, this software and change my settings. So here we have our Shemika leather. Here's my force at nine. Let's bump that up to maybe like 11. Let's save that. So we have that set there. Now let's go ahead and test it this way. All right, so here's my second test cut. Let's inspect it again. So we'll look at, look at the back, nice and smooth. We'll go over. And honestly, this cut almost looks like it's even fainter. Like it looks like it cut worse. So let's go through, grab my weeding tool. <laughs> yeah, and it didn't even come up all the way. So this is one thing that may have happened. If you look over, I think my blade wasn't down all the way. So we're gonna go over, reload it, and again, just go back to the software. <laughs> and we're gonna adjust our settings. So in this case, I'm gonna go over and let's increase my blade a little bit. So let's do my blade at five. Let's save that and then we have our force at 11 already. And then I'm just gonna jump over to my machine, move my start point over past both of those and let's go ahead and test it. Okay, so I could hear that it sounded like it was cutting more. I know it sounds kind of silly, but I don't know. It just sounded like more of a cut noise. So yes, that's pretty good on the back side. Not, you know, going through, I can see a little indent. And if you look closely, you can kind of see the cut lines on there too, which that's a good sign. And then when we flip it over, you can see cut lines are right here. All right, so let's go over here. Let's bring this over. Okay, did you see how that little corner came up just a tiny bit? Now, my cuts are pretty good, but that corner snagged, so it's not exactly what we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bump my blade thickness up one and see if that resolves that corner thing. So it looks like maybe it didn't cut as far as it should have. So let's load it. And again, you guys, you know, this is what my fourth test cut. But honestly, this is something that you want to do because, you know, it's only going to use maybe a quarter inch of your vinyl, maybe a half inch. Let me go, go to the software. But if you do your whole cut and you ruin the whole cut, then you're ruining almost a foot of vinyl. This, you know, you're just going to take your time, get good cut settings, and then you're good to go. All right, so let's do a test. All right, so there's our cut. Let's unload it. So yeah, look at that. So let me kind of adjust it for you. Let me let it focus real quick. All right, so right there. So I cut and then it's nice and smooth on the back. And you can also like take it and bend it just a little bit for you. Let's go right here. And it'll bend and you can see the cut lines. So let's go ahead. Oops, this is my last test cut on here. All right, so let's grab a corner. Good. Came up clean, didn't snag on the corners. So that is a good test cut. So now we're all set to go. I mean, it didn't use that much vinyl. So now I'm gonna load it in. And instead of bringing it over, I'm just going to use my arrows and bring it down a tiny bit to pass those test cuts. Let's jump back to the software. Here's my design. Here's the last settings I used. Let's go ahead and send. Okay, so I want to show you one thing that just happened. So my blade was pushing down pretty hard and my, my vinyl was bumping stuff. So check it out. I do have some areas where it cut through my backing, which kind of stinks because my test cut was really good. So a lot of times when something like this happens, it's putting down too much pressure. So now that I had my blade adjusted, um, it pushed it and it bowed. So what I'm gonna do is let me jump back to my software and I'm gonna make this design smaller so it can fit on the other side of my material. And I'm literally gonna keep the same exact settings, but I'm gonna turn on my cutting mat And you can see here my settings, the same exact ones. So let me grab a cutting mat. So I have one 
right here. Here's my cutting mat. I'm going to lay this down on my cutting mat and I'm going to use the same setting. So sometimes when you have force like that, it kind of like pushes down too hard on your vinyl and it will cut through. Now something like that, if you don't want to use a cutting mat, then I would recommend decreasing your force. If you remember, I was still using the same amount of force that I was using before I increased my blade. So it's putting down a lot of force, but also the blade is out further. So I have this and then we're going to go ahead and just send that. All right, so looking at it right now, my cut looks nice and smooth. Right, so let's go ahead, lift it up. No dents on the back. And let's kind of hold this up to the camera so you can see. You can kind of see cut lines there. And now I'm just gonna take my weeding tool. It's coming up pretty easily. So you can see right here, we're just gonna kind of pull that up. Now with the Shemika, because it's such a thick vinyl, sometimes you may have issues with your corners. So in this case, I have an issue with a corner of my W. It's trying to pull up with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull from the other side, bring that down. And just because it's a thick vinyl, it kind of wants to curl up a little bit. This is something that when you're cutting with Shemika, these are great for rounded corners like this. Um, sharp corners get a little bit tricky, but you can see like, didn't give me a hard time. I was able to cut it that way. So you can cut it without a mat. If you want to cut it without the mat and not have this issue, you can see it doesn't cut through in every part of my design. It's just areas where like maybe it bumped the cords in the back or something like that. Then you can go ahead and adjust your thickness and test it from there. Or you can use the same settings and cut with your cutting mat, which will keep it stable. So that's one thing I like about cutting vinyl on the Cameo is that there is more than one way to make it work for you. So you find the way that you like and the way that works best. And really, you just want to get these good cuts so you can get to making your items quicker. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube so you don't miss any more videos. And let us know in the comments what you think and what kind of things that you would like to learn in future videos.